Good afternoon Year 2, welcome to our history lesson this week. I would like you to write today's date and skill into your book please. Today's date is Thursday the 28th of January 2021 and your skill is to write a thought bubble as a historical figure. I'd like you to write that in now please and unpause the video when you're ready to begin. Off you go. Okay, let's have a look at our starter then. So in a moment you're going to talk to your talk partner or discuss this with the grown up at home or have a little think on your own. Last week we learnt okay, about the history of flight and part of that we learnt a little bit about the Wright brothers and their Wright flyer or their Wright glider. Okay? The Wright brothers worked really, really hard for four years and gradually they improved their flying machine. So each time then they reflected on what went well and what could be even better and they made small changes as they went along so they gradually improved their machine. Okay? Why do you think then that they persevered? So they would have faced a lot of challenges along the way. Why do you think they kept going and didn't give up? I would like you to discuss this question please now. So pause the video please. Okay, I'm sure lots of you have got some brilliant answers as to why they didn't give up. Okay, I think one of the main things was how exciting it would be for um, all their hard work to pay off and for them to be able to finally fly. Okay, lots of people wanted to achieve this, didn't, didn't they? Okay. So here's a picture then of the Wright brothers with their, uh, with their aeroplane, with their Wright flyer. And on December 17th, 1903, all their hard work paid off and all who Wright piloted, so he flew, the first powered aeroplane above a beach in North Carolina, which is in America. And he said, after the, after the flight, I found the control of the front rudder quite difficult. So that's what he wrote in his diary entry from the day. So even though he'd succeeded and he flew for the first time, he was still thinking, how could I make this better? What was, what was difficult? What could I improve? Okay, so it's a really important lesson to learn, isn't it? The flight lasted 12 seconds. There were three more flights after that, that first one, that initial flight, and that was piloted by Wilbur instead. Okay, for each of those, those later flights. The record flight that day lasted 59 seconds. So we can also see there then that although they, um, the first flight lasted 12 seconds, they were still improving even just in that day. So they managed to go from 12 seconds all the way to 59 seconds, so nearly a minute there, um, just in one day. So all, all the time thinking about how they could improve. They were very determined, weren't they? One of our school values. So. Let's have a look at this video then to learn a little bit more about the Wright brothers and the first successful airplane. The Wright brothers, the first successful airplane, 1903. Wilbur Wright was born on April 16, 1867 in Millville, Indiana, and Orville Wright was born on August 19, 1871 in Dayton, Ohio. Both brothers were pioneers credited with inventing the first airplane. In late 1901, the Wright brothers had gathered the aerodynamic data they needed to build a successful flying machine. And in 1902, the Wright brothers had built their latest glider based on this data. They had identified a wing shape that was efficient, producing the expected lift and engineered controls that were responsive. The glider would also use a trailing rudder for yaw therefore enabling the Wright brothers to navigate in the air in all three dimensions. Following this success, the next stage for the brothers was powered flight. No manufacturers could provide an engine light enough and powerful enough for their needs, so the brothers had to design and build their own. The flyer was designed in a biplane configuration with a wooden airframe and a wingspan of 12.3 meters or 40 feet 4 inches. The pilot flew on his stomach on the lower wing steering by moving a cradle attached to his hips. This cradle pulled wires which warped the wings and turned the rudder. The Wright Flyer 1, based on the previous glider, was set up near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, in the United States of America on December 17, 1903, where there was a hill and a good breeze. The first flight lasted 12 seconds, traveling 36 meters or 120 feet with Orville piloting. Three more flights were made on that day, with Wilbur achieving the best flight covering 255.6 meters or 852 feet in 59 seconds. The Wright brothers had made history with the first successful flight of a controllable, self-propelled, heavier-than-air machine. 
over the next few years. Okay, we're going to stop the video there then. So your task today, you are now going to create three puppets, okay? One will be Orville Wright, one will be Wilbur Wright, and the last one will be the Wright Flyer, okay? So you're going to draw these, and then you're going to make your puppet. So the things you'll need then, you're going to need scissors, paper, glue, or sellotape, anything sticky, um, colouring pens or pencils, and three lollipop sticks or card. And if you don't have any lo lo uh, lollipop sticks or card, then you can just move your puppets yourself with your hands. It doesn't need to be on a stick, okay? So you're going to draw um, Orville Wright, so remember he piloted the plane for the first time, then Wilbur, his brother, and then the Wright Flyer. And then once you've drawn them, you're going to cut them out, you're going to stick them onto your stick or your card, okay? And then you'll have your puppets. When you have your puppets, you are going to reenact the first successful aeroplane flight, okay? And I want you to consider how each brother would have felt. So I want you to you, want you to consider how Orville would have felt piloting the plane, and how Wilbur would have felt seeing his um, his achievement. So seeing the plane fly for the first time. Remember, it lasted for twelve seconds. So it would have been over quite quickly, but they would have been feeling probably quite overwhelmed, excited, relieved that it it had worked. Lots of different emotions. Okay, so. Before you do that, before you go on to make your puppets and reenact the scene, I would like you to watch this next video clip, okay, um, of the first flight. And I want you to consider, so while you're watching it, how they would have been feeling. So start getting those emotion words. Are we ready? Okay, so I would now like you then to go and make your puppets and reenact the scene. Think about how both of the brothers would have felt. So I've got a little example, little example here of the puppet. So I've got my right flyer. Okay, I have got my brothers. I've got Orville and Wilbur um, right on my lollipop sticks. But you don't have to use lollipop sticks. And then I would like you to reenact it. Okay, I'd like you to do this for about maybe ten minutes. 
okay? And then unpause the video when you feel like you have really thought about their emotions and how they would have felt after all that hard work paying off. I'd like to pause the video now, please. Well done, off you go. Okay, so now you've reenacted them, I would like you to tell the person next to you or discuss with your grown up at home how would the brothers have felt, okay? I'd like to pause the video and describe how they would have felt now, please. Okay, so not only do we need to, to consider how they felt in general, but also how they felt before, during and after. So before they might have felt quite apprehensive, quite nervous, during they might have felt relieved and, and pleased and after they would have actually felt really um overwhelmed maybe the fact that they've they've achieved this thing that they've been working on for four years okay and probably quite relieved then as well so here are some examples then of a couple of little thought bubbles um that you are going to write in a moment so i felt very nervous before the flight because i didn't want it to crash i was amazed the flight lasted for 12 seconds and i couldn't believe my eyes when i saw it in the air I was extremely happy that we landed safely without any damage. And I was so relieved that it worked. Years of work paid off. Okay, so now you've reenacted and we've thought about these examples of a little thought bubbles. You are going to write a, a very short thought bubble for your chosen brother. So it might be for Orville, who was the pilot, or for Wilbur, who was watching from the, um, from the ground. And I would like you... You can either redraw the picture of the brother in your book and then write your um, your thought bubble, or you can stick your puppet into your book. Obviously, don't try and stick the stick in, but stick your puppet into the book and write your thought bubble next to that. Okay, it's really important you remember we're writing in past tense. Okay, this has already happened, so we're going to say things like flew, landed. Okay, we're using that ed suffix, and remember to include how they felt not only before during but also after the flight. So I would like you to pause the video and write your short um, thought bubble about uh, either Wilbur or Orville right now, please. Off you go. Okay, I'm sure you've all done an amazing job. Our last activity then. So the last activity, I would like you to decorate a piece of paper. And I would like you to use maybe lots of patterns and different colours, make it as colourful and as bright as you can. And then you're going to follow these instructions to make your own paper aeroplane. Once you've made it, you are going to fly your aeroplane and see how far it goes. Now if you've got siblings at home or even if your grown-ups want to join in, it might be nice for you to maybe have a little race and see how far your plane can go and see if you can beat each other. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at how we're going to make the aeroplane then. So you're going to need a piece of A4 paper. You're going to need to make a line in the centre by folding the paper in half like this, okay, so it should be folded along this dotted line. You're going to fold in these two corners so they meet at the centre fold. You're going to fold the outer edges in, again, so we can see the arrow going in, to meet at the centre fold which is in the middle. You're then going to turn the paper over and then fold it in half in the middle. And then you're going to fold down the wings on each side so that they meet with the bottom of the plane. And then your plane is ready to fly. And you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so I've got decorated my plane. I have followed these instructions. And this is my paper plane. And I'm ready to race it and see how far it goes. Okay, I'm going to see if I can beat my top, top score. See how far I can get it. Okay, I hope you really enjoy that um, year two. Well done for another amazing history lesson. Hope you have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye.